This is Luba Evans, Magnetic Woman Secrets. I have such an exciting topic for you today. Seven rules of communication with a guy that you like via text, email, or dating app that are definitely going to activate his chasing instinct. So before we dive into the topic, subscribe to this channel, which is going to help me producing those videos for you to make you irresistible and to make sure that you're going to get your soulmate this year. When you subscribe to the channel, please make sure to hit on that bell. I just found out that the bell is absolutely necessary for you to be notified of the new videos which are coming out. Rule number one. So instead of any expression, any word that means that you're excited, a better word to use is pleased. I am pleased we're going to see each other soon. I am pleased you're coming. I am pleased that you wrote. So why is it such a better way to express yourself? Because when you say the word pleased, it shows that he has pleased you. That number one, it's possible to please you. And number two, it's possible to displease you. So it shows right away that he has to work hard in order to make you feel happy. That word pleased is a magical word that will work in your favor. All right, rule number two, absolutely always text or email. That rule also uh, spreads over email less than he did. It can be 50% of what he wrote, it can be 70% of what he wrote. Make sure that it looks less than what he wrote. So many of my clients, when they start working with me, show me their correspondence with guys. And what I see so often, it is because women love to express themselves and men are often so minimalistic. And being minimalistic actually is a sign of uh, masculine energy. And the guy wrote this little, and all of a sudden, the woman is just breaking through, writing three paragraphs back. So I just want to tell you that that move alone can cost you a possible admirer, can cost you a relationship. That move alone will show the guy that you are desperate and that you want him much more than he wants you. That's it. So this rule should be graved in stone. You should be writing less than he is writing. Again, unless you are on stage of relationship number three and you're discussing some kind of logistics that requires you to express something that is functional and, and that therefore it is longer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the next rule, number three, is when you're just starting to communicate with a guy in the very, very beginning, and he's inviting you to meet at a certain place at a certain time. And you don't even know yet if he's going to keep you, his word or not. Or let's say he already changed the date on you. And he came up with a good excuse. So in this situation, the best thing to do is to set a time frame of your own on when he has to confirm that you're meeting. For example, he says, let's meet, let's say it is Monday, and he says, let's meet on Friday night at 7 p.m. And then what you can write is, yes, please confirm by, let's say, Friday noon. Or you can even write, please confirm by Thursday night otherwise i'll make other plans that shows that you're not going to be waiting for him forever and that shows that you also have a life and you have alternatives which immediately makes you an easy to lose high value woman who cares about her time who thinks her time and her presence is precious so that he would know that he has to show up and the most importantly so that you would know that if he is about to flake out you didn't miss your friday night 
So this is very, very important. And considering how flaky guys are right now, especially if you're dealing with somebody you don't know. So always, always setting up your own time frame for confirmation. Rule number four, take time responding. Always take more time responding than the time he took writing his previous message. So if he was missing in action for 24 hours, respond in 30 hours or 36 hours. If he took three hours to respond, take four. Otherwise, again, if he took a week to write to you and you respond right away, it communicates that you're like a dog on a leash, that you are sitting right next to your phone waiting for him to reach out. And the moment he reaches out, here you are, available and excited to give him a chance. So this, again, is killing his natural instinct to chase you. So if you're missing an action yourself and taking some time to respond, thoughts can start running through his head because most men start to feel things and get ignited when they miss you when they are not sure whether you're going to meet with them, whether they are not sure where they stand. And this is where different emotions kick in, like emotions. Sometimes the thrill kicks in, and thrill has a little bit of fear in it, uncertainty in it. And you know that very well from the thriller movies that you're watching. So giving him that suspense, not responding for a little bit, is a wonderful tactic. Rule number five, the responses should be cute, short, and sexy. Oh, something, for example, that you've done before, and so you're sending a little cute picture of yourself, not too revealing, but implying, hinting that you're playful, hinting that there are going to be good times with you. But then rule number six comes, which brings in your new favorite word, when you're communicating with guys, and that word is maybe. So flirting is often about keeping things between yes and no. It is almost like dancing. So when we're dancing and uh, there is this uncertainty where we're going to step, whether it, we're stepping back or we're stepping forward, this is what makes things playful. So the word maybe is definitely, definitely your friend. When you're sending cute, short, and sexy note, and he starts going all over it, so you are teasing him, you're provoking his reaction. After that, he says, yes, I want to see you, let's do this. And then your response can be, well, maybe. And that actually just throws even more air into his fire. That makes his fire much stronger. And the last loop, the last rule, and here is the last rule, rule number seven that I want to talk about today is called open looping. So this open looping is something that is used widely in different soap operas. So in different soap operas, the way they keep you watching this soap opera, watching this series, series of short uh movies is at the end of each one they open a loop something is happening and there is no resolution so you almost feel like you have to come back you almost feel like you absolutely have to watch the next one because you want to understand what happened so the same way with a guy you can start a loop you can start saying something interesting and then never finish it. For example, oh yeah, I had this interesting dream about you. And he will be like, what? What is that dream? And then you can say, yeah, later. And he's already in suspense. Or for example, oh, there is something important that I want to tell you. What? What is it? And then again, you tell him that you're going to tell that you're going to say it in person or later. Or that requires a special celebration. Wow. So he was just put into that mode where he is anticipating. So, and you can also do it not only about words or something that you're going to say. It's even better and more flirtatious when you use it 
in a way that, oh, there is something special I want to do to you. Or there is even better, instead of you being going forward and being active, to be actually passive and say, oh, there is something I want you to do to me. Wow, every guy is going to be curious. Nobody will be able to just not respond to ignore this message. So his natural inclination is going to be nothing short but what is it? whether he was planning to do it to you or not, whether he was even planning to continue communication with you or not. So just try that message alone. There is something I want, I want you to do to me. You will definitely get a response and the response most likely is going to be, yeah, what is it? And then you'll say, well, I'll show you when I see you. And so that is a wonderful way to hook him in. So those are the seven major rules of communication through text mostly. They also, most of them also work for email communication or communication on dating applications and messenger. So um, I want to wish you good luck with, with all of those and uh, please make sure that all of those rules are observed.